In this video, we're going to look at how to get the current date with JavaScript. So getting the current date with JavaScript isn't simply a case of running one particular function. It's actually a matter of creating a new date object and then depending on what type of format you're after, extracting the certain parts of the date and reformatting it into a string, if that's the kind of data that you need for your application. So to construct a new date object, we simply say new date which if we reference the today variable directly gives us a nicely formatted date, including the date, time and also time zones. But what about if you wanted to get the date in a format like the day, the month and also the year in a nice short string separated by slashes or hyphens? Well, what we'd actually need to do is extract those different parts of the date in terms of the day, month and year and then reconstruct that into another string. So in order to get the actual day of the month, we use the getDate function on our new date object, which you can see is set to 9 because it's the 9th today. And to get the month, we use the getMonth function. And January is actually represented by a 0, so we have to add 1 to the result of this if we want to get the correct month number of the year. And in order to get the year, we use the getFullYear function. So with each of the parts of the date extracted, we could reconstruct that using a template literal. And of course you can reorder those in any way you see fit. So if you wanted the month to appear as the first section of the date, you can just move the month variable to the start of the template literal. One thing you might want to do with the month and the day of the month is to actually pad it with zeros if it is a singular digit as we've got at the moment and you can do that by calling a pad start function on those two variables once you've converted them to a string. So this time when we construct our template literal you can see it's nicely formatted with leading zeros for the day and the month. So of course you might want to do more complicated things depending on what format you need your date in and I'll provide a link below to the MDM documentation for the date object as it has a really useful list of all the other functions that are available once you've constructed your new date object.